Bitcoin is again on the rise and in this video we're going to talk about Bitcoin economy and that means everything related to different L2s like stacks, we're especially going to cover stacks, but also ordinals, BRC20s, so NFTs and different tokens running on Bitcoin. This is super interesting and also super important because uh, th having different incentives like uh, those kind of NFTs or DeFi being built on Bitcoin means that the Bitcoin stays secure because you need to have incentive for the miners to actually keep on mining Bitcoin. Um, this is a really important problem that keeps on emerging. I'm going to cover that in a moment, uh, but I have to make a small, uh, sm small mention here that I'm going to use the Revelo Intel nodes, which are super amazing when it comes to getting insights into different projects. They have this new function when it comes to insights as well as snapshots. Uh, you have both snapshots being covering the latest projects and insights being uh, go, going deeply into particular assets and in this video we're going to go through uh, insights and in particular insights on stocks and I'm going to give you a couple of things from Revelo. Uh, the link will be down below in the, if you want to use it. Uh, it's free to start and then you can if you want to go deeper you can have this whole package for to access everything I have they have also I think they have also lifetime access as well so going through stacks and making Bitcoin smart uh, basically the the main problem that they mention is that uh, the, there has to be an economic incentive for mi for miners to keep on mining and keeping Bitcoin alive of course right now Bitcoin is uh, super popular uh, this is basically 50 percent of the entire crypto market so we're nowhere near any problems with bitcoin uh, going into oblivion and this won't be a problem anytime soon but still you have to have uh, those kind of incentives thinking forward uh, for the next year so stacks itself was funded in 2017 by munib ali finishing phd and he released original white paper raised 50 million dollars and this is how it all started and different catalysts and a couple of years later um, the the stacks is really doing pretty pretty well uh, with re recent rise as well also because of the popularity of ordinals and uh, brc20s i'm going to mention that as well what I wanted to show is that basically uh, Bitcoin will have a security problem at a certain point when uh, because of the different halvings uh, and doubling in price every four years if that won't happen because basically miners need to solve every after every halving a much more difficult problem uh, so they need to uh, also have more heavily computations on board that costs money that's why uh, if you want to scale Bitcoin and keep the same level you need to have Bitcoin price going up as well in order to keep up with the, with the demand for power. So the different options here are uh, changing the cap for Bitcoin. Uh, of course, this is probably going again uh, against the original vision or uh, doing something else like, for example, that compensates the miners and that can be uh, building the whole economy on Bitcoin. And that's why uh, thinking about that, uh, things like VRC20 or Ordinals really make sense from this perspective. Uh, here you have this cool graph from Dune Analytics with uh, how many Bitcoin ordinals are there. So right now we're really, really going through with uh, a lot of ordinals uh, over, I think we're close to 10 million ordinals right now or over that uh, at, the current, at the current stage. And that was mostly due to BRC20 tokens and how they work. Uh, so. Uh, basically, uh, I was already discussing that idea in my other video about ordinals and how to start with them. So if you haven't seen that, uh, the link should be somewhere here or in the description. I probably give you all the links to different Bitcoin ordinals. But the basic idea behind the ordinals is that uh, you can basically enumerate uh, individual satoshis, giving them numbers based on the history when they first got mined. And this way you can also classify them into common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, mythic, depending on uh, whether they are, where they are coming from within the particular block. So, you know, whenever Bitcoin is mined in blocks, you have those blocks and you can then see when the particular sa satoshi is coming along the way. Um, 
And if it's the, uh, not the first Satoshi of its blocks, then it's common. Uh, then if it's the first Satoshi of its blocks, then it's uncommon. And then for rare and epic legendary, you have uh, those different uh, ideas of like the first Satoshi of its cycle, the first Satoshi of Genesis block and so on. Uh, so there are a couple of interesting stuff going on here. Um, and Stacks is itself a layer two to Bitcoin, meaning building on top of, uh, of Bitcoin. Um, this is EVM, so uh, it, 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 Ethereum Virtual Machine with having smart contracts as well and being able to write different data on top of Bitcoins. Ordinals also gives you that. Uh, this is the way enumeration. Of course, you can have other ways to enumerate ordinals uh, because there are many different ways and this would give you alternative way to approaching ordinals as well. Uh, also, this system gives you BRC20. So you have uh, tokens, basically you can have different meme coins that you can mint on Bitcoin uh, and people keep on using really interesting stuff. Uh, ordinals.com is the website where you can see everything happening. There are also uh, things like OrdSwap and a bunch of other marketplaces for uh, uh, for, for going through different ordinals that are minted right now. This is basically what I was talking about in my previous video. What I wanted to show you here is how the, the economy on Bitcoin is growing. So I'm going to go through to the, to the stacks itself because stacks gives you access to all the tools you know from Ethereum, like for example, uh, like for example, different DeFi, uh, yield farms, uh, staking and so on. So this is basically how, how you want to go approach. Uh, basically stacks is making Bitcoin go to to really web free um, and this is really cool thing. Uh, there's this cool mechanism in Stacks itself called proof of, uh, proof of transfer, POX, uh, which is similar to proof of work, with the only difference being that uh, the, in, in this system, miners actually need to validate transactions uh, and to validate the transaction they first need to beat in Bitcoin and this Bitcoin, for this Bitcoin, then, then they receive SDX. Uh, so this way, uh, S a BT a BTC is also used. This also influences the economy of the Bitcoin itself. Uh, so the growth of uh, the stacks will also make Bitcoin grow to a certain extent. Uh, and also it's good for the STX stakers because they also will have some participation in the token as well. So that's a cool, cool stuff here. Um, so different apps are built on stacks. Uh, of course, there's a competition, there's a Lightning Network, RSK, Arc, Liquid. Uh, these are a couple of other solutions that are similar to stacks. Uh, but basically the current uh, stage of stacks is pretty good. Uh, this is the main thing I wanted to show you. Uh, de definitely the number of transactions is growing. You have currently uh, 4 million transactions uh, of total. Uh, the volume is also growing of uh, STX itself uh, being used. So this is really growing and this is really cool. Uh, number of wallets is growing as well, closing to 1 million currently. Uh, so there's a bunch of really cool stuff happening within the Stacks community. Um, and I wanted to finish with showing you uh, first of all, yeah, how big the, the Bitcoin economy can be. Uh, this is really great because uh, there are really many developers on Ethereum that would probably be happy to jump on Bitcoin. Of course, there are also many developers in on B original Bitcoin. Uh, and second thing is there are already different apps being built on uh, w within the Stacks ecosystem. So this is what I wanted to finish with. Uh, Stacks ecosystem, wallets, uh, you have different apps basically for everything from NFTs, uh, to tooling, integration, stacking providers, pools, DeFi, and everything else. As you can see, uh, there are so many different uh, solutions just being built on stacks. Uh, so this is really becoming a Bitcoin 2.0 ecosystem, Bitcoin layer two ecosystem, uh, and it's really worth looking forward. Of course, uh, buying stacks, uh, this is not a financial advice. You have to do your own research before jumping in, but definitely have a look at the whole ecosystem, at the NFTs, um, and also with the rise of ordinals and BRC20, uh, this is really, really, really interesting um, and something to look forward to. Uh, so I'm not going to show you the conclusion and everything else because of course this is for paid users. I don't want to spoil everything for Revelo. I really am thankful and grateful for them to giving me access to, to that. To that. Um, and I'll be coming forward with some other analysis based on what's in Revelo because this is truly an amazing platform. And if you want to have really in-depth knowledge about crypto, this is the place to go. For everything else, of course, subscribe to my channel. I tend to cover uh, all the news, uh, new coins, new DeFi, new ecosystems, but also uh, I tend to speak uh, deeply about particular topics I have uh, interest in. So subscribe and see you in the next video.